Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, we're going to be talking about the colors that you absolutely need for your shallow diving crankbait. So these are these are four different colors that that you got to have. Now, some of them are, are just for certain times of the year, but half of them, at least, you have to have in your tackle box all year round, no matter where you fish. So these are these are the four different colors. If you're trying to build a tackle box of shallow diving crankbaits, these are the four that you need to focus on. So before we get started, I just want to remind everybody, if you want to support this channel, if you do enjoy the content I'm putting out there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of the Sonar Fishing channel as far as the subscribers. And also make sure if you're going to be buying these products anyways that I'm talking about, use the affiliate links in the description below. It helps support the channel and it's just a direct link to the products that I'm talking about. So thank you in advance for that. So let's get started with the colors that I highly suggest. And you'd be hard pressed to find anybody that disagrees with, um, you know, with these general colors being as effective as, as I believe that they are. Um, these are really good, just general shallow diving crankbait colors, uh, varying from uh, shad imitations, crawfish imitations to bluegill, a little bit of bluegill. So let's get started. The first color that everybody needs, no matter where you are in the country, even if you don't have shad in your in your lake, um, and all all year long, it has got to be the sexy shad. Sexy shad, and there's a bunch of different variations of it, but really they're very similar. That they're just tweaked just a little bit. Like some of them have a little bit of like chrome on them, a little bit of gold. Maybe there's a little bit more chartreuse in there, a little bit more green. But variations of the sexy shad color are really, really just staples for shallow crankbaits like square bills. Um, this is a really good shad imitation, but again, like if you if you fish up north and really there's there's no shad, but there's other types of pelagic bait fish or just you know bait fish roaming around the shallows uh, altogether. Uh, this is a really good imitation for all different types of of bait fish that are not bluegill or something like that. Um, so this is a color that you definitely need to have in your tackle box. Um, this is this is definitely one that that you can fish you know, in all seasons. Um, so uh, if I'm unsure as to what I wanna throw, this is probably gonna be one of the first ones that I do throw to cover water and uh, and just get some bites. Okay, so that one is a good color for a lot of different uh, 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 water color ranges, water clarities. Uh, you can fish it in real clear water. If you do fish it in clear water, maybe I'd go to, I'd suggest going to something that's, um, maybe a little bit more shiny finish so like the the sexy shad chrome colors and pretty much all these colors are are are, are uh, offered in every single product line you know everybody makes these colors because they're so important um but yeah clear water at, you know pick one that maybe has a little bit more shine to it if it's sunny out um if it's if it's clear water and it's cloudy just regular sexy shad will work great but you can also use it in uh, in pretty heavily stained water as well. It, it shows up really well. Um, the next color is also a, it's kind of a multi-purpose uh, uh, imitation. Uh, it is really good for imitating shad in really dirty water. Uh, also bluegill, um, it's, it, it can definitely imitate some bluegill patterns as well. Um, that is the chartreuse black back. This is a really good color for dirty water. Once I start getting into consistently dirty water, especially this time of year where it's it's uh, the rainy season, uh, you're generally getting a lot of inflow of, of fresh water that dirties up the, the entire lake. Uh, chartreuse black back is a really good one. It shows up really well underwater in dirty conditions. It's got a little bit of orange on it. It's got chartreuse as the main color. Uh, and usually it just has a, a black back with a scale pattern up there. But it is a really good color when you start getting into the moderately stained to heavily stained and muddy conditions. So that's one that I, I definitely always have, especially in dirty water. All right, so the next two crankbaits are a little bit n more narrow in scope as far as the time of year that you're going to be fishing them, but they are extremely important for the time of year that that they're they're used for, which is primarily both of these are going to be early spring or winter time, uh, uh, you know, a cranking. So this right here 
is one that you absolutely need to know about. This is Rayburn Red. This is a variation of Rayburn Red. This is a brand that I have no idea what it is, um, but you can see here, it's kind of just, uh, if, I was, if I saw the label, it's probably just says Rayburn Red something, um, but essentially Rayburn Red is a red, base uh, color, but then you have some some gold, uh, usually crawfish patterns on it. This isn't as, as specifically crawfish. And then you've got some black, maybe a little bit of orange on it, but that's pretty much what it is. It's red and gold, a little bit of black. That's the basis around uh, Rayburn Red. And Rayburn Red is probably the most important crawfish specific color out there during the coldest months, especially down south where you have a lot of crawfish that turn red during um, the coldest months. So January, February, March, this is definitely a color I'm going to have tied on. I may have like a shad pattern, like the sexy shad or, or the chartreuse black back, but I'm definitely gonna have this one tied on as well, especially if there's grass in a lake. Um, usually the grass lakes are the ones that have the most prevalent red crawfish um, populations. So this is a, a really, really good one during the spring that you've gotta have, uh, and every brand makes a variation of Rayburn Red. It doesn't need to be too crazy specific, um, but as long as it has that red, a little bit of gold, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna work. All right, so the next color is a really good one for also early spring, but I really like it for when the water temperatures start to rise from like the high 40s to like the mid 50 range, you know? So when the weather is starting to trend towards spring away from winter, this is a really good color. Now it's also really good anytime you're throwing, you know, a Rayburn or a, you know, Rayburn red or anything like that. Um, but it, it is a color that I tend to throw in in less grassy lakes, more um, more rocky lakes. Uh, you know, uh, in Alabama, Tennessee, the, this is a really, really good color. And the, the one that I'm gonna show you is actually not the exact color that we're talking about. We're talking about spring craw, which is a kind of a combination of like yellows and oranges and a little bit of, of browns. It's a, a good crawfish imitation. This one right here is a variation of the, the the spring craw type of a color combination, but this one incorporates some white on the belly. So this is called DB Craw. It's uh, from Strike King. This is a really good color. Um, so, you know, with all these different colors, really you're gonna see small variations of each of these colors. So don't be afraid to like experiment with, with a color that looks similar, but is not exactly uh, the same name as the ones that I've mentioned here. But the DB Craw is really, really good um, as an imitation of, of, you know, or a variation of a spring craw. But in general, spring craw or variations of which uh, work really good during the early spring, still colder water, uh, and definitely where there's a lot of rocks and uh, and less grass. You know, uh, the the red coloration that, that a lot of crawfish get, you tend to see that uh, coloration more in lakes that have a lot of grass in it. I think it has something to do with the, the variety of crawfish that feed on the grass tend to turn more red. Again, I'm not a biologist, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I like to throw spring craw in variations of which in more hard bottom type of lakes, especially, uh, you know, in that, that Alabama, Tennessee region, and even a little bit north and even a little bit south sometimes. But anyways, guys, this is a really, really good uh, variation of, of colors that you can use during that same time period where you're trying to imitate a crawfish early season. Uh, anyways, guys, those are my four shell diving crankbait colors that that i always have with me if you look in my tackle box they're the majority of the crankbaits are in those patterns and with a couple other patterns you know peppered in um, but if you're looking to build a box an arsenal of shallow diving crankbaits these are four colors that you just cannot do without. So um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Other than that, I'm gonna see you out on the water. Trust the process.